back and forth first half. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Here's James. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. There are the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Being chased out left. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 23 yards on the tuck and run. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Caught left side, Garcon. Showed the nice footwork and then hit and dropped shy of the 45. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Rams getting set to go now. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. And not a whole lot doing there, so get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? And I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. Throwing on third. Gone. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg, on the move, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Aaron Donald, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Now Garoppolo throwing on second, going up top. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, 
He'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. The Niners on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and a mile. Garoppolo. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Aaron Donald in there yet again. My goodness, make it five sacks for him now in this one game alone. Garf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. Good move by Gurley. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Four down, four down. Tiger, Tiger. 89, 89. Watch 89. What? Gurley again here on first down. And despite the good footwork, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. There's gone. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And now running right through it. A good pick up there at 22. It's a nice job hitting him on the angle route there. Come out the backfield, cutting sharply across the middle. And that's good timing between the quarterback and his receiver. Effective third down play to move the chains. Carry number 10 for Gurley. Broken tackle. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Throw on second down is gone. And this is incomplete. He was looking for Todd Gurley. And it's third and four. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Sets up a first and goal. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it. 
but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. On first and goal, Gurley. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Tom Gurley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. So the call's made by Sean McVay. They're going to go for two. 76, Helm. 76. 76. Goff now looking to throw. And they're going to get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to eight. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense. That's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on him. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned into six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there, not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Garoppolo now. Dancing to his left. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Aaron Donald in there to get him again. And that's his sixth sack of the ball game. One off the NFL record of seven. Back now in Los Angeles. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. The Niners on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Flush under pressure again, and down he goes again. Dante Fowler in there to drop him, and back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long. Wait, wait, wait. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it.